Augusta has many problems, but we had problems in the 1800s as well. One of them, wandering livestock. Yes, with an agricultural past, dirt streets, and the fact that there were animals all over the place, people had a pretty lax standard of hygiene. But you know what? They got tired of living like pigs, and they did something about it. A letter to the editor of the Augusta Chronicle asked Augusta municipal leadership if, among other things done by the city fathers, they have repealed the ordinance prohibiting hogs running wild on our streets. If not, why is it that our doors must be watched to keep the hogs outside? Why indeed? Well, it looks like the American Civil War and the Reconstruction period that followed delayed any plans for improvement. But then Augusta moved, and it moved quickly. And I'll tell you about that when we get back. Augusta's pig population after the American Civil War was pretty impressive. Just how impressive? Well, they found out. According to the September 1st, 1871 issue of the Chronicle, on Wednesday, Alderman Meyer, acting mayor, issued an order requiring all hogs driven from the city within 24 hours from date of this order. The effect was to fill the streets of Augusta with pigs. So many pigs it took everyone by surprise. It is estimated that between 2,500 and 3,000 have been carried out of Augusta. It is a remarkable ill wind that blows nobody any good, and so the butchers have found it in this instance. Well, that's what they wrote. Feel free to translate that last ill wind reference any way you want. All I know is that within a few years, Augusta was calling itself the Garden City, and nobody saw any pigs on its streets. As America's most famous pig once said, that's all, folks. Hey, here you go. Hey, want some? Here, want some more? Huh? You like that? Yeah, that's a good, 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 good. 